Ladder game, Exlord, Kaho, how trash is undead, really? And can Kaho step in the footsteps of the best night elf that I've seen on this patch? Colorful. Evolved it to a weirdo. At some point, Exlord said he's only playing the game to snipe Leon. And of course, heavy criticism towards me, Dondo, Remo, pretty much everyone without ever doing anything constructive. So, uh, my sympathies for this player are very minimal. But nobody can deny that he's good. Unfortunately. So, let's see how good he is. And what the way to play this matchup is. Because X-Lord isn't dumb either. Unfortunately. Especially, when was it? Rara won? He had some sick expansion timings. That were really, really, really smart. And this could fire him up now as well. Kaho, no warden but demon hunter. Yeah, last time I saw Kahu, it was not that impressive. But maybe he got inspired. Oi! No way! Oh, look at this! Sweet, sweet, sweet snipe on the creep by Kahu. That was preventable. Aura 1, no coil. DK down to 50%. That's some solid damage. That was a sweet last hit. On autumn leaves, expansions are easy. So that can be a tool for undead. But so far, Kaho's looking good. Sweet arrest, solid foundation for a race towards level 3, going to the mercenary camp now. Boots on the DK. That almost looks old school. That almost looks like some sort of guard play. Yeah, I think this matchup has the most potential on this patch from our entertainment perspective. Because, let's be honest. Nine minute frenzy pushes are not very entertaining. Ooh, good timing by Exlord, but he's missing that coil. A player's forces are under attack. And so Kao is probably pretty happy about the Moonwell region now. Oi, oi, oi. Good creeping. Good manipulation. That will take some time to recover. Oi. Okay, this was nice. But 
Demon Hunter is level 3. Tech and Huntress Hall finishing at the same time. An X Lord. Rushing to tier 3. Hmm. A player's force is Curious to see that. What are we rushing for? So tech before second hero and slaughterhouse. No second crypt, no fiends, no gargs. Guess the transition comes now. Four ghouls, eh? Plus five here. Exo was a big fan of tier 3 expansions at one point. Can you do that here? The soul is... Rather calm compared to what we've seen before, right? Cow isn't burning too much mana, he isn't roaming too much. Well, he can't burn mana because there's no mana burn yet, but that Demon Hunter is a beast waiting for the tier 3. An X Lord always one of the most passive players in the entire game, I'd say. The willingness to stall is almost unparalleled. But oftentimes very successful. So no reason to blame him. And that's been the case for like 12 years. So I don't expect a more gory playstyle when I see X-Lot games. Name the Spiel. Thank you very much for the 53 man. A player's forces are under attack. Bears, scouts, no expo, just tier three. So frenzy coming, destroyers coming. So far, so classic, but we have a skull in the DK inventory. X Lord's tier 3 timing, eh? We talked about it. Rara 1. That was an extraordinary timing. A player's forces are under it's a bit unintuitive, right? Because that was always the timing to push and end the game. And Exo is completely flipping it around and going into a more defensive playstyle with that second base. Happy has done it as well, but a lot later. And also a lot rarer. Get mana burns now, and for, with that, a lot more potential to inflict some damage. And Kahu, huh? did he not see? A player's forces are under attack. Or does he not want to risk anything without a TP? Might be that. Just counter expanding. <laughs> Class plus 12, Naga also hitting like trucks. So far, this game bit of a snooze fest. 
compared to what we're used to seeing. We got Burrow, no web yet. A town is under siege. Here we go. A 10 minute ghoul timing. But three of them get sniped immediately. Destroyer also a bit too far forward. Step timing by Kao is good. Care Bear in the back for quick redo access if he needs it. And that's a destroyer falling. Ay ay. And that, with that, of course, Ritu can run through uncontested on top of the Moonwells. Cow actually, Ultra Vision and Wellspring, two rare upgrades. And this Decay Gas get pummeled. The hell? Kaho freaking owning this fight. I don't really see the need for this attack, to be honest. Not in the base. Like, you just finish your expansion, let it pay off. And if you attack, attack the expansion. Not right next to Moonworld. I'm not sure what this was supposed to accomplish. Got some kills, but Demon Hunter's level 5. Like, he fed so much. A player's force is under attack. But there's possibly some genius strategy behind it, if you ask x -Lord. It just... I don't see it. So Kaho two bases, talents coming. Yeah, this wasn't even the final night of form. Kaho's just vibing, man. Running around, trying to burn. There we go, not a single coil anymore. You can take your sweet time. Clause plus 12, number two! Yo, that's some sweet almost double damage. I'm really curious if you sh ah, frost armor uh, frost arrow is so good though. This position not that great for Kaho, but here come the birdies. Only one, yeah, only one. Kaho was a bit hesitant with production. 800 gold, but still doesn't even need it. <laughs> Lich just deleted, dude. Despite the mana potion and the mineral potion. Four destroyers clearly like pretty much an all in. Despite all the morphing, still down in supply. That's fascinating. And one demon hunter to rule them all, eh? Can you really be that passive in Warcraft and successful? Well, the one time he was active, he threw the game away. So, I think yes. Not that Kaho was a lot more aggressive.
Oh. There we go. Kahu wins. It was an invite. Would have loved to see this early, uh, this late game play out without that push into Kahu's base. Kahu was more active, creeping, etc. Yeah. 